And I have a special interest in aortic diseases. And the aorta is the big tube, the blood vessel that leaves the body and carries all the blood to the body. And I have a special interest in diseases that are genetically triggered or hereditary. So aneurysm syndromes, enlarged aortas. Uh, my family member had a tear in the aorta. So I run the uh, Marfan Syndrome Clinic and the Clinic for Thoracic Aortic Diseases here in our cardiovascular division. People who have Marfan syndrome have typically tall stature, long arms and long legs, they have nearsightedness, and they have chest wall deformities and curved spines. But on the inside, they're at risk for aneurysms or enlarged blood vessels. And so seemingly healthy individuals may not know they have this condition, but are at risk for a ruptured aneurysm in the prime of their life. And so uh, here at WashU and Barnes Hospital, we've had a clinic for people who have Marfan syndrome or related disorders, other uh, hereditary disorders of the blood vessels. And we've done this since 1992. We have one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics here, which involves cardiac surgeons, ophthalmologists, medical geneticists. And people come from really all around for do I have this condition and how do I manage it? So we've been involved on the local level, but also on the national level. I serve on the professional advisory board of the National Marfan Foundation, and it's really a passion of mine. I, I'm really an optimist, and I hope uh, to help my patients understand that many of the conditions that they have are treatable, preventable, and modifiable. And many of it can be done with lifestyle, but even the most healthy lifestyle, if someone has certain risk factors or certain genetic markers, they're going to need assistance with medication as well, and screening and follow-up. So. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of hope for most people. And when I teach medical students and residents, I say, you know, when a patient comes down here to see us for consultation, they already know or already assume that you're going to know how to take care of them. So most important is, is making them comfortable and familiar and being their advocate to get through this system of health care because that's what we can do as well.